Hello, I'm Dr. John Smelser, and welcome to another episode of Atma 101. In episode 71, which was part one of words related to cooking or cooking and eating utensils, um, I ended with the word for stove, and I said that it was sdo. And that is true, that is our one word that we use very common, sdo, which is just the word stove, mispronounced, you know, from the English. But also we use the word gabin, gabin, or gamin, if you're from central and western dialects. So we have a little variation. The sdo, as I said, was a Russian loan word. All right, we'll continue with frying pan. So you want to put some eggs in a frying pan? That's uyi nakantesi. Uyi nakantesi. Um, we also say benekantesi. Benekantesi. And sometimes in our lower villages, we just say skuli. Skuli. Um, which is a Russian loan word, by the way, for a frying pan. A baking pan, so you want to bake some bread, bread or something, is sdu delchake. Sto, no, sto. Sto, del, sto delchake. Um, sometimes just sto chake. And the, it literally means the stove dish. You see the word stove in it, so it's the dish you would put the batter and stuff in. And that's what it means. A mixing bowl, just a, you know, a bigger, a larger bowl to mix is Uyi ninil basi. Uyi ninil basi. A dish pan. So a dish pan, dish pan. Okay, that's um, kachi cha ai. Kachi cha ai. <clears throat> Sometimes it's called chit cha ai. Chit cha ai. <clears throat> a tea kettle. My wife likes tea, so we have a tea kettle on our stove. And that's chanik. Chanik. Or sometimes chani. You'd kind of drop the, the K sound. And sometimes in some of our lowers it's chin. Chinik. So chanik, chinik. You can just hear the dialectical variations. And all variations that I just said are basically about, um, based on Russian loanwords. Now if it's a small kettle, sometimes people have a really small little kettle, and that is chanik gai. And you've already heard the word gai many times, like in Raven, the mythological character, which is sagani gai. It just means little raven. So little teapot, simply like a small teapot, is simply chanik gai. <laughs> and let's go with coffee pot. So coffee pot is kui nik, kui nik, kui nik. Remember, our word for coffee is simply guki, guki, because we misheard the word coffee. So guki nik. And a teapot, I guess that's different than a tea kettle. I'm still trying to figure some of these ideas out, but uyi tai del tleri. And sometimes just uyi tai del yasi. So we'll start with that, we'll stop with that, and we'll learn more words related to cooking or eating utensils in the next episode.